have a look at this. Uh, Reach Robotics, their new product is called Mechamon. These massive spider-like robots that move around the floor. They're controlled by a smartphone app. There's an AR mode as well that you can play on your screen. But the real excitement here, I think, is to see this robot-on-robot -robot combat. So you can fire different weapons and the robots know if they've been hit. You can detach the arms, you can change the shields up. But really, it's the way they move and just have a look at how realistic they are. Now, they may be made out of plastic, cogs and motors, but there's a real biological feel to how these robots get around the room. And as you can see here, though, you don't have to worry about that. Controlling it with the app, it's all about strategy and movement. Can you keep your robot out of range of the other robots' attacks while at the same time raising up on those legs to get in at an attack? You can see when they've been hit because their legs go floppy and their belly hits the ground. Also, you can see when they're shooting, they sort of go back on their haunches to launch those big, big rocket attacks. There's also some more sort of direct combat. And I like the way that actually when they get in close, they can actually tussle with each other physically. Now, the trailer for them showed them going up and down stairs as part of that combat mode. I haven't seen that yet, but the idea that these things can crawl around your house up and down stairs is a little bit creepy, but also a lot of bit exciting. So here we are. I think we're coming towards the end of this battle now as white versus red on this final showdown. And some distance between them, but red rushes right in for a real close up attack. I don't think that's worked for it, though. It's taking hits there from the white robot and it looks like who's going to win this? Ah, he's down. It looks like Red is down and the white Mechamon takes the lead. Now, let's have a look at some of these super high-res images of the robots that are coming up. They're going to be released in limited numbers this year. There's 500 if you get registered quickly and then after that there'll be a less limited, sort of less special edition versions that you'll be able to buy at retail. Now they are at the higher end of the sort of Toys to Life tech toy scale of things. They are $329. I'm yet to see what that translates to in pounds. But I think the level of technology you're getting here, the fact that they are modular, they are expandable, and also the wide variety of ways you can interact with them. And have a look at this motion. We've got this slowed down so you can see how the robot moves around the room, each of its legs working independently, sensors on each arm there, knowing where they are so that it can traverse the area. Again, we got some shots of it in action in the home here. You can see a little bit more detail. There's some translucent sections. Those shields on these Mechamon's legs look different to the ones we've seen in demonstration and probably are closer to the retail final models. So you've got here four players taking on each other. There's small, four smartphones and four Mechamon. Now that would cost a lot, but I think it would be a lot of fun. Certainly if you've got a couple of friends who've got these robots, you can power up by that AR mode and then bring them head to head to fight. What I think is going to be most interesting is when Reach Robotics opens up this toy with an SDK. They promised to do that, which means we will be get to tinker and to adjust and maybe to apply different attachments to our Mechamon robots. Here we have a look at the AR mode. So you can see the mat is down there on the floor and we've got our Mechamon. We've got copying this up to the TV screen. You can see our, our smartphone camera and there on the screen, you can see projected around it is a virtual world that you can then explore with this robot. But it's the movement of the robot that I think is going to attract most people to this game. And that is what we're going to be spending most time playing. So as we round out this virtual battle, you can see there we're taking down that any anyway, robot with a missile and that's mission successful. Um, we have also got some more footage here slowed down again so you can see not only how they're moving around the room but how they lift and lower the body shell of them and that is something I think the pilots are controlling as part of the strategy to try and get in to hit those sensors and to bring down that enemy Mechamon. But look at that, the way it goes right back as I say on his haunches to fire, get the right trajectory for those missiles coming down from above. But I think it's the movement, it's the way these mecha robots move around that I've never seen anything quite like it. Now they don't do this autonomously, it's not like Cosmo in terms of steering itself. This is something that is piloted by the user currently. But certainly this is a new era, I think, in the sort of toys to life robot battles that we've seen developing over the last few years. And it's going to be exciting to see where Mechamon goes in the future, but also where toys and tech and robots go as we see the technology and the level of engineering really develop like this.